Danny, a quick turnaround on to Tuesday. I think there's a chance to make things right after Saturday's result. Yeah, I think um, now that the kind of the dust settled a little bit, you kind of look back at the game. I was so uh, fixated on the referee on Saturday. It was. I, I still maintain, obviously, he, he heavily influenced what happened in the game. Um, so it wasn't just the sending off or the potential penalty. It was the the multitude of of, of offences that occurred without just anyway. Um, but you look at the performance. I think that the, the day was the whole day was based around decision making from the referee, from our players as individuals, and it was it was a tough one in the sense that I didn't think we was necessarily at our best on Saturday. I think we deserved probably a bit more out of the game than what we got, um, without actually being particularly great. And it's interesting because certain players, obviously, they, they maybe didn't perform as well as they should have done. But we haven't changed our shape for a long time, so we haven't changed formation. They've all been playing in the same positions of what they've been playing in all along. Just circumstances in games kind of change where you find yourself at times. So. But it, it is what it is. We move on, and uh, as you said, it's a quick turnaround. We've got to focus on tomorrow. And this weekend saw a number of players loan spells both end and possibly be extended as well. What's the news on those? Yeah, so um, Jacob returns. He's he's come back into the squad. Um, we're actually in talks with Dulwich at the minute in regards to Sham, what the potential situation is with that. So we'll find out obviously a little bit later on with regard to that one. Um, Lewis Walker's loan ended on Saturday. We're currently in talks with QPR regards to what we do in that situation, whether we extend or not. So, yeah, we've, it's a busy day from a loan perspective. And a lot was made about the team selection. Obviously, with some fans asking maybe new additions should be included. And I know that's something we've been working on over the last few weeks as well. Yeah, I, 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 I think that, that... Let's get one thing straight. That us not being players is nothing to do with the, the board not getting their checkbook out. Uh, us not bringing players in before Saturday was purely the fact that the players that we want to bring in are not ready to come in. Um, whether that's because the, the clubs are seeing if there's moves for them in, from a loan perspective in the league, some of it's to do with they've, they've got certain things they've got to do and they've had games themselves, the clubs. And when you're after players that are quite highly thought of by their, their parent clubs, they're always going to take preference over what, what you want to do with them. You have to be a bit patient. The permanent deals we're looking to do, it's not as easy as it used to be. You can't just pick the phone up to the player and say, do you want to play for me? And say yes, and then agree a fee. You've got to deal with all the other agents, etc., etc. So we're doing the work. Um, I'm pretty confident we'll have at least one in before tomorrow night. Um, but again, we, we, we have to deal with it as it comes along. But it's definitely not from a financial perspective. The, the, the board, the chairman, I've sat with Shahid several times over the last two or three weeks. They've, they've got, I've got their full blessing to go and bring in reinforcements. So it's, it's more a case of getting the right person in. Plus, we want to try and bring players in, even whether it's loan or permanent, that we see as players for next season as well. Um, we don't want to be finding ourselves in the position that we were at the start of this season. We want a nucleus of players that are ready. We've got players that are in the process of signing new deals, which will be announced soon. And that's all positive from, from the board's perspective. Um, we, we, we are building, but it takes time. And just like anything, we can't rush out. I mean, yes, Saturday we lost the game, but I'd, I'd argue that we've, we've not had a bad run of form and we've lost a few players, granted, and we're going to bring a few new players in. So it's a work in progress, but the, the, from, the, from the board and my perspective, we've got the finances in place to go and get the players that we want to get. It's just a case of making sure we get the right one. Because one thing we forgot to mention about Saturday was there was three academy players involved in the in the squad for that game. It must have been a great experience for them, despite the result of the weekend. Yeah, I think that we it's a, it's a real tough one with academy players because people say that um, you only really use academy players when you've not got first team players available, um, and that to an to a certain degree that element that has an element of truth to it because if you've got a fully fit and working squad then you need to have be quite good circumstances to bring the academy players in. We want to bring them into an environment where they can go out and relax and enjoy themselves. At this current moment in time, we're not, our league position doesn't give us the kind of, that kind of leeway to let them go out and ex express themselves. 
I, I believe we will get there before the end of the season and you'll see a lot more involvement with academy players. And, but it's a great experience. We've got some very talented boys and the, the nucleus of them all played in the friendly that we had on Monday, which was a first team friendly. So we get to see them on a regular basis. They're all training with us every day. They're, in, they're, 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 they're treated as first team players. They've got squad numbers. Um, but just like any club, we, it's got to be right. And you can't just throw academy boys in and go, good luck. You've got to make sure that their, their development plan is in place that well, you're putting them in for the right reasons. And they were on the bench. One of them definitely would have been on the bench anyway. Um, potentially two with, with, with Ryan as the keeper. And it was a great experience for, for Harry Woodford to be back in the first team because he's had these injury problems. So we're not, it's not just, oh, there's panic. Because what we could have done was panicked and just gone and got three quick loans in and put them on the bench. Well, then what's the point of the academy? That's, that's kind of my thought process on that one. And it's full credit to Ross and the guys in the academy that do that good work to make sure they're ready for that step up into first Yeah, team. unbelievably so. They, they've, we, I'd like to think we've got a really close relationship with the academy and the staff. I speak to Ross on a regular basis, uh, or both Rosses. Um, and Ross, Ross White will be in with the, with the first team today helping out because we want him to be in and around it as well. It's, it's, we want to try and make it a big, big family group. And the difficulty we have is keeping them. So, because of the system and the way it works, with I think we alluded to this the other day, the the system and the way it works, we have real no real jurisdiction over them until they turn 18. And get, but unfortunately, because of the good work they're doing, these players are being picked up. Um, so Harry Taylor's in at Charlton. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. And it's an opportunity for Chal uh, for Harry to go into Charlton. Charlton have handled themselves really well. I know the, the staff there; they've done things properly and. We want to keep Harry, but in the same respect, it, we, we take great pride in the fact that we're producing players that clubs like Charlton want to have a look at. So it's a bit of a, 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 bit of, a bit of sweet situation, but it, the, the work they do is superb. And looking ahead to tomorrow's game, Eastley, obviously we beat them here at home and they'll be looking to sort of put revenge on us as well. We were looking to do the double on them too. Yeah, I think that, that we're, we're both in a situation, I think we talked about it after the game on Saturday, that we, we, we both, I think we both lost 2-0 on Saturday. Um, so we, we're going to want to put things right, and I think Strevs does, has done a great job there. I think he's got—I I really like him as a manager. To be fair, he's got a great manner about him, and, and his team tries to play. And I think they've been boosted by the fact that Rob Atkinson's gone back on, on loan from Oxford, which um, I, I, I know Rob very well and I highly rate him. I think he's a good player, but we also rate our players as well. So it'll, it'll be a good game Tuesday, and. Our lads know they've got to roll their sleeves up and that we need a reaction from Saturday and I'm sure Strevs will be saying the same thing to his lads. So it'll be, as always, it'll be a tough game. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.